This is Tilt Mount, an Iron Ridge mounting system designed for attached, tilted solar installations on flat roofs. We will be covering the installation for the Iron Ridge Tilt Mount system and flat roof attachments. This video is intended to be used as a supplement to the Tilt Mount installation manual. Be sure to review the manual on the Iron Ridge website to ensure installation steps are followed correctly, as well as checking the roof warranty terms and conditions. These are the components for the tilt mount system. We have XR rails and splices, fixed tilt legs, flat roof attachments, membrane flashings, UFO and stopper sleeves, microinverter kits, grounding lugs, and accessories such as wire clips and end gaps. And these are the tools required for the installation. You will need a cordless drill with a drill bit, a cordless impact driver with adapters, sockets such as a 5 16th inch nut driver and 7 16th inch and 9 16th inch deep sockets, a 0 to 250 inch pound torque wrench, a tape measure, layout markers such as a chalk line and crayon, portable handsaw, sealant and a caulk gun, and roof cleaner. Iron Ridge offers an online design assistant tool that is free to use. The attached flat roof design assistant allows users to do preliminary designs in portrait or landscape orientation. And get a bill of materials and quote from a local distributor. The array dimensions, attachment spacing, as well as many other values can be found in the Design Assistant report. For multiple rows, inner row spacing is typically around 12 inches, but will ultimately be determined by engineering. Okay, let's get started. Begin by marking the required fire setbacks on the roof surface. Next, mark the corners of each module row. Snap chalk lines along the attachment row locations. Then, mark the individual flat roof attachment locations. With the array layout complete, now we're ready to start installing the flat roof attachments. First, let's take a look at some of the features and things to consider when using the flat roof attachment. The Iron Ridge flat roof attachment includes two washers and one 3 8 inch bolt for attaching tilt legs. When using flat roof attachment, the type, size, and quantity of roof screws to be used will always need to be specified by a structural engineer. The specified roof screw size should not exceed number 15, and the length will be dependent on each specific project. Iron Ridge recommends pairing the flat roof attachment with our roof manufacturer specific membrane flashing, but a variety of waterproofing options are available. With the array layout complete, we're now ready to start installing the attachments. Place the flat roof attachment in the desired final position, based on the array layout. Mark the fastener locations by lightly installing the required number of roof screws, just enough to penetrate the surface of the roof membrane. Roof screws should always be installed symmetrically to each other to ensure optimal attachment. Remove the roof screws and set them to the side. Wipe the roof surface clean in the attachment location, at least 9 inches in diameter. Use the appropriate cleaner for the roof membrane, such as TPO cleaner for TPO roofing. Depending on the waterproof system, an optional bead of sealant can be added to the underside of the attachment base. Place the attachment on the roof, over the roof screw marks. Fully seat the roof screws into the marks. The flat roof attachment is now fully installed into position and can be sealed using the flashing membrane, or a variety of other waterproofing methods which we will discuss shortly. Continue working across the roof until all attachments are installed. Confirm that all attachments are in the correct locations before moving on to the waterproofing process. Let's review some common flat roof materials. 
These are the flat roof materials you are most likely to come across during a solar installation. TPO and PVC, modified bitumen, EPDM, and tar and gravel. And here is an overview of some waterproofing solutions based on roof type. Iron Ridge Membrane Flashing, Chemlink E-Curb, or working with a qualified roofer. Let's review some of the things to consider when choosing the Iron Ridge Membrane Flashing. For TPO, PVC, or KEE roofs, Iron Ridge provides membrane solutions for the leading roofing manufacturers. Simply input your roof information in the Design Assistant to select the proper membrane for the project. Iron Ridge Membrane Flashing is manufactured by the leading roofing manufacturers to ensure an exact match to the roofing material of your project. Membrane flashing should only be sealed by a qualified person, such as a roofer, to ensure long-lasting waterproofing of the attachment. Okay, let's get into the waterproofing process with Iron Ridge Membrane Flashing. To install membranes, begin by removing the adhesive backing of the rubber washer on the flat roof attachment. Align the center holes of the attachment with the membrane flashing. Squirt sealant into the center holes of the attachment and the membrane. Place the included washer on top of the center hole of the membrane. Then, attach the north tilt leg bottom brackets and south tilt legs with the included washers and 3 inch hardware torqued to 250 inch-pounds. At this point, membranes are ready to be sealed by a qualified roofer. Another waterproofing approach is the use of Kimlink E-Curb. Kimlink E-Curb is a good solution when working with modified bitumen and can be utilized on a variety of low-slope roof types. Flat roof attachment is compatible with the 9-inch E-curb, using about 1 and one third bags of one part pourable sealant and one half tube of M1. Install the E-curb following the ChemLink installation instructions available at ChemLink.com. Continue working across the roof until all penetrations are sealed. Let's review some of the features of the fixed tilt leg kit. Tilt leg kits are available in multiple lengths to support a wide range of mounting angles. The kit includes the north and south tilt legs, plus hardware for attaching to XR rails. South tilt legs come assembled and feature angle indicator marks from 0 degrees to 30 degrees. The fixed tilt leg kit has been tested for use and is compatible with other attachments such as quick mount standoffs and S5 clamps. Now, let's discuss how to install the north and south tilt legs. Begin by setting the top pivot bracket of the south tilt leg to the desired angle and torque to 250 inch pounds. Then, assemble the north tilt legs using the provided tilt leg hardware and torque to 250 inch pounds. To allow adjustment while attaching the rails, don't fully tighten the bolts just yet. With all the tilt legs assembled, we are ready to move on to the rails. If necessary, cut and splice rails to match the specific lengths needed for the array. Bonded splices are installed using four self-drilling screws. Using the provided line on the XR rail, install the self-drilling screws so they are one inch from the end of the rail and one inch apart. Screws can be inserted on either side of the rails. Splices should not be installed in the rail cantilever, the outer two thirds of the exterior span, or the middle third of an interior span. Rail cantilever length, or how far the rail is allowed to stick out past the last attachment, is available on Iron Ridge's design assistant. These measurements are calculated as 40% of the max span. With the necessary rail lengths cut and spliced together, we are ready to attach the rails to the assembled tilt legs. Begin by attaching the first rail to the south tilt legs. Position rail to allow for the desired rail cantilever on both sides of the array. 
Attach the next rail to the north tilt legs using the provided bonding hardware. Also positioning the rail to allow for the desired rail cantilevers. Rails can be mounted on either side of the north tilt leg. Use a straight edge to square the north tilt legs to the south tilt legs. A piece of rail or unistrut works well for this. Place the straight edge on top of both rails and adjust the north tilt legs as needed so the top of the rail is flush against the bottom of the straight edge. Once the rails are square, torque all hardware to 250 inch pounds. With racking assembled, we are ready to move on to wire management and grounding. Let's begin with how to attach module level power electronics, or MLPE devices, to the tilt mount system. Install MLPE devices along the north rail using Iron Ridge's microinverter kit. Simply engage the T-bolt in the rail channel, slide in the mounting plate, and tighten to 80 inch pounds. Iron Ridge wire clips work great for easily managing conductors. Simply loop the conductors into the shape of an eight and secure them into place. Install the low profile grounding lug by inserting the T-bolt into the top rail slot and torquing the hex nut to 80 inch pounds. Install a minimum 10 gauge copper ground wire and torque the terminal screw to 20 inch pounds. Only one grounding lug is required for each row of modules, as the installed module frames will act as a grounding path between the north and south rails. With some AC solar panels, a grounding lug may not be required at all if the equipment has an integrated conductor or EGC. It helps to be educated on the equipment that is being installed and may even save time and money. At this point, install the array junction box and complete all the necessary connections for the system. Now it's time to install our modules. Secure the first module in position on the rails, a minimum of one inch from the ends. Snap stopper sleeves onto the UFO for clamping the first end. Fasten the module to the rail with the UFO, ensuring that the UFO is hooked over the top of the module and torque to 80 inch pounds. It helps to hold the stopper sleeve while tightening to prevent rotation. Note that stopper sleeves are specific to the module frame's height, so ensure the stopper sleeve size chosen matches that of the module being used. Iron Ridge's design assistant will automatically select the correct stopper sleeve size based on the module chosen for the project. Module compatibility can also be verified by looking at the last pages of the tilt mount installation manual. Place a UFO into each rail, making them flush against the first module. Slide the second module against the UFO and torque to 80 inch pounds. Square the modules to one another as you install them by using a straight edge, such as a speed square or the bottom of a drill battery. It's always a good idea to do a quick tug test by pulling up on the modules where the UFO was just installed to ensure the T-bolt is fully engaged in the rail channel. Complete electrical connections as you go and continue repeating this process until the entire module row is completed. Then install end caps to the rails if being used. This is also the same process that should be followed for any remaining rows in the array. Instead of using UFO on the ends, you can provide a finished look to the array using camo. If using camo, begin by sliding the camo into the rail channel far enough to clear the module frame. Place the module on the rails. The module should not overhang the rail more than a quarter inch. Pull and slide camo toward the rail ends at a 45 degree angle, so the bonding pins contact the edge of the module's bottom flange. Rotate the handle with an upward motion until camo snaps into the top rail channel. Ensure camo bonding pins are fully engaged on the top side of the module frame flange. Now you can install your end caps. Camo is very versatile as it works with all module frame sizes. Note that some module flanges may not be compatible with camo, so ensure that the modules you are installing are compatible by using Design Assistant or looking at the diagram provided in the tilt mount installation manual. 
This is an easy way to provide a great finished look to any array. For immediate assistance with planning any project, both the design assistant and the installation manual can be easily found on the Iron Ridge website. Be sure to contact Iron Ridge support at support at ironridge.com with any questions you have along the way. We are always here to help you in making solar stronger.